In the future, parking as we know it in San Francisco could be changed forever. Some people who have had the ability to park without ever paying for parking may lose that privilege. Stanley Roberts, who has been following this story for several years now, explains how San Francisco is going to try and change the law. There may be changes afoot in San Francisco if city officials get their way. Changes that may affect the entire state. Parking on city streets with a disabled placard may no longer be free. Yes, you heard me. Unlimited parking may be a thing of the past. If you've been following the People Behaving Badly segments over the years, I've highlighted what has been called the rampant abuse of disabled placards for years. Blocks and blocks of cars all displaying disabled placards, taking up parking spaces for days at a time. Under the current law, people with disabled parking placards can park for free at any regular meter parking spot pretty much forever. By the end of 2013, the city plans to increase its official disabled parking spots, you know, the ones with the blue curb, by 70%. That means adding an additional 740 spots citywide. The city also wants an increase in DMV oversight for placard approval before they're even released to drivers, stepped up enforcement to combat placard misuse, and adding parking meters even at the official disabled parking spaces. These are creating mixed reviews from drivers, some saying good and some placard holders not so happy, citing that the truly disabled now have to suffer because people are basically abusing a privilege just to get free parking. Keep in mind, some of these proposed changes would basically require a change in state law. At the earliest, these new recommendations would take effect in 2015. However, adding new official parking spots would happen by the end of 2013. I think it's interesting that the Bay Area's abuse of placards is so bad that it requires laws in the entire state to be changed. In San Francisco, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.